I'm AZD, your favorite bad man. You're like a sleeping giant. You're like a titan that can go up and grab the gods by the throat and make them pay. You're a sleeping giant because they're making you look at this distorted mirror like a funhouse mirror. Every time you look at it, you look like a tiny little shrimp. And so then you spend your life trying to be strong, trying to be confident, trying to be real. And, and I, would, I would hate to see a shark try to swim and an eagle try to fly and a lion try to be a lion. And yet everywhere we look, mankind is trying to be smart, trying to be intelligent, trying to... You don't got to try nothing. What you got to do is observe and use what God gave you, which is judgment. Judgment. You're supposed to judge your environment. You're supposed to say, this is good, this is bad, this is right, this is wrong. And right means survival, and good means survival, and bad means non-survival, okay? And it's, you have to have a vision, a goal of who you want to be, what you want to do, and everything that aids in that is good, and everything that doesn't is bad. Life is that simple. Whatever else you heard is like, I don't know what formula you're using, okay, but if that ain't it. Everybody's suffering because they're being stupid. Be kind to every life form you see. Be kind, be kind, okay? But if you allow stupidity to continue, that's not kindness. That's stupidity. And there, that, that word just means less intelligent. That means not life. That means bad. That means devil. The devil makes people stupid. Think like that. Every time you allow toxicity, negativity to continue around you, just remember you gave the devil a seat into your house. Come on in. Oh, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Sit down. Right? And so the devil then ends up having a place into your, into your house, into your crib. Right? And anytime you're about to engage in some activity like that, the devil shows up. Right? And you forgot. You give him a seat. You can't entertain any negativity. Like, listen, ready? You can't even, you can't even allow it to, to, to plant a root in your brain. When you, the moment you catch it, you got to cut that up. And you go, how do you do that? Cool. You, there's a million techniques, a billion techniques. I have like 400 techniques on YouTube. But the first thing is to recognize that something negative was beginning to take root inside of you. It's either going to be inside of your mind or it's going to be inside of your heart. It's going to be some kind of negative emotion that hits you or it's going to be a negative thought that hits you, okay? And, and those are two separate seeds, two separate places. But if someone came up and stuck a, uh, <laughs> stuck a seed up your without you wanting it, you're just walking and then, wham! Like, ah! What's that? A seed up your Let it grow, a tree. That's what happens when people give you a negative thought or a negative emotion. If you hold on to it. You're allowing a seed into your body. Into your emotional body, which is your heart, your emotion. Or your mental body, which is your mind. And you're not your mental body. You're not your emotional body. And you're not your physical body. But these three things you carry like a symphony. Like three instruments. You can't escape it. It's like a, it's like a triangle, right? Three wheel. You ride it. Right? Each wheel is one of these. If you lose your mental edge, you don't go very good. Physical or, or emotional. Balance. Right? It's like that thing that I'm riding. It's a balance wheel. Hovering. And then what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to surf through life. Right? There's bumps in And you're supposed to move around it. And what's the whole goal? Just don't lose your balance. Why? Because if you keep your balance in life, you'll get to glide through time. Listen again. Listen carefully. These words are going to move you, man. If you keep your balance through the bullshit of your life, if you, if you don't fall, whether you're on a surfboard or a skateboard or in one wheel or even a bike, your job is to maintain equilibrium through the bumps and obstacles in front of you. And your job is to what? Decide on the speed. Sometimes you're going to go faster. Sometimes you have to go slower. It's dangerous to go fast sometimes. It's even dangerous to go slow sometimes. You, you, you are using intelligence to judge based on the road. You're, you're checking your speed and your balance. Speed, balance, direction. Speed, balance, direction. Now let's go to your life. Your first job is to not lose balance. What does that mean? Your balance is your values. It's what, it's what you... But it balances you in your life and keeps you at peace. Is, is you living in alignment with your values. 
A lot of people don't know what that means either. It means like if you think, if you think that honesty is important, if you think man should be honest, then you every day work on being the most honest man you know. Now, if you do that, you're doing well. That's your job. That's like, that's like someone should tell us when we're born, like that's your job. Okay, as a human being is to work on these things that are called values. And we're going to value you to the degree that you're good at your values. Like if you have a friend of yours who's totally honest, hardworking, confident, intelligent, these are incredible things to have. I would trade a million dollars for, you know, two million for a friend like that. Give me that friend over any money. If you have a friend like that, you're blessed more than anybody. Find me on Instagram at AZDIMC408 NorCal, Northern California. AZDIMC408 NorCal. That's Instagram. My website is Arise Zapar, Z E P A R dot com. My coach, mental coaching, communication coaching, relationship coaching. If you know someone better, let me know so I can sign up with them because there is nobody better, okay? And then uh, share the video blog and subscribe. And tell your mom about it. A lot of moms are signing up. Hey, mom. I am C Nation. Be the best of the rest.